Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the total its length command uh, inside the Cadence PCB tools. So this is a, a length matching rule set that uh, is applied to uh, the complete net object. So not individual, you can't split this into individual pin pairs. Um, it's on based on the whole net and it's a, a min and a max value. So it's almost like a tolerance on the net value that you specify. So I've got a scenario here where I want to match um, four nets length one, length two, length three, and length four. Um, so I need to go and find these in Constraint Manager. So an easy way to help you do this sometimes can be use the assign color command. So if you look under the display, there's something called assign color. We can pick an overriding color. So I don't know, let's just pick yellow. And then I select the net objects um, in Constraint Manager or in, in, the, in the design themselves, they then highlight. If we then launch Constraint Manager, so set up constraints, I go to the, the net, so electrical workbook, net routing total x length you'd actually see them get highlighted the highlighted color is assigned and shown in constraint manager in this object here so it can be easy for you um, i mean these are pretty easy anyway because they're all named the same but if they were named different you could you would see the different highlights all the way down the different nets so i'm just going to uh, drag select these uh, objects i'm going to make a class so we'll call this length I then effectively uh, want to work out how long these are. So if I just right mouse button on the net class name itself and do an analyze, I'll then get the actual length. Um, so it's given me effectively uh, the, the shortest member is 19.08, the longest member is 22.09. So I want to match these um, within a half a millimeter. So if I was to specify maybe 22 and 22 and a half, that's probably going to give me about what I need to do. So I could either just do that with a value, just put an overriding value in the net. But in this example, I'm actually going to go and make a rule set. So if we go to the electrical constraint set routing total edge length, I'm going to right mouse button create something called an electrical C set. Uh, let's just call this length. And then I can specify the values here. The advantage of doing it here is obviously when I then come to the net based objects, I can apply that rule set. So if I did have to actually go and make a change, I can make that change once very, very quickly in the rule set and then that will be automatically be applied on the actual nets themselves. So let's uh, minimize constraint manager. We'll just de-highlight. So we'll go to display, de-highlight, click on the all object just to get rid of the highlights for these nets. Um, I then want to start adding some length matching to, to the ones that have got um, a DRC error. So you can see obviously I get a DRC error. I can hover over that and get to see a tooltip. So it tells me what the constraint value is and what the length is on this net. So what I need to go and add. So we would use the, the root delay tune command to be able to do this. So root delay tune, I can get it from the icon over here. Or if I'm in edge edit mode, I can literally just hover over one of the C-line segments and do a right mouse button delay tune. And then I can start to add delay tune. And you see the heads up display going from red to green to red again. So depending on whether you're too short or too long, um, you'll get the heads up display as soon as it goes green, I'm meeting the constraint and I can then click to confirm. So let's come over here and we'll do a, a right click delay tune. So that's plus, that's green, yeah, we're good to go on that one. Final one is this bottom net, so right click delay tune. Get that to go green. We're good, we're meeting all the constraints. If we go back to Constraint Manager, you'll see Constraint Manager is now all green, so it's showing all of my objects, we're all good to go, um, and we can move on to the next part of the design. 